Hey guys, welcome back to Get Real with J Reacts. Today we're going to watch X-Men 97, episode 9 and episode 10. Excited to see how this thing concludes. It's been ramping up ever since episode 1. For full reactions, make sure you check me out on Patreon, Get Real with J. You can also become a super fan by donating below if you don't want to commit to the Patreon. But without further ado, let's check out episode 9 and episode 10, X-Men 97. Uh, Tolerance is Extinction, uh, part two. I always forget to name, to read the titles of this. What's up, X? Yeah, the X-Men gotta be, like, freaking out. Charles is back. Couldn't Charles have designed himself some some legs just like he had in that other planet? Oh, that's right, he had that flying, floating chair thing. So what's this X-Man's name that's hanging out with Storm now, the American Indian guy? He's pretty cool. It's finally quiet, mother. So this had to have been happening, like, before they all got taken out. Magneto, sir? Really? I wanted you two to be free. To have a family. A it's not Magneto's fault. Sure, he had an alternate, alternate motives, but he's not responsible for Bastion. You were my first students, and you graduated a long time ago. I still would have had to send Nathan to the future. No matter what, I'll always end up here. Remy, I... Yeah, Robe's gonna flip out when she sees How do you uh, feel? Professor X. You're back! <laughs> Restored, thanks to Forge. Forge. It's been too long, my friend. Wish it were under better circumstances. Those black they say in every movie. Whole thing. Oh, Jean. What happened? Thousands are feared dead. Without warning, Magneto's thrown the entire planet back centuries. We need to find Magneto and convince him to reverse the damage to Earth before it becomes permanent. His day ends one way. Do not make Magnus pay for my designs. Rogue, you're going with me and Blue Team to find Magneto. Storm and Jean will lead Gold Team to shut down Bastion at his headquarters in the Galapagos Islands. I want to go to the Galapagos bad. Forge and I believe we can restore the Prime Sentinel's innate humanity. Unplug them from Bastion, but then what? Didn't Magneto short-circuit all of them, though? Always have. Technically? The Prime Sentinels are controlled by a central command server. Bastion is the command server. Right. The boy could communicate with machines. Once Bastion is no longer a threat, I believe Magnus will be open to turning the power back on. The world ends in less than 12 hours. Kurt will teleport us to Muir Island. Let's get to work. I don't know. Pause this. I don't know if I would paint Magneto still as the bad guy. Am I just being naive here? I think his intentions were good. Sure, he wanted to. His motives were to also maybe take over Genosha one day. But... They caused this, not him. He just got pissed off and destroyed everything. But I don't know if I would call him the bad guy anymore. What, what do you guys think? What did you guys think at this point? This mnemonic scrambler shut down Jean's powers when she was the Dark Phoenix. So we calibrate the scrambler to Bastion's frequency and sever his hold over the primes. We can use neutralizer technology to permanently disable his control of prime. Hey, okay, no what's neutralizer going on? technology. Oh yeah, she doesn't want she don't want anything to do with neutralized technology. Part of me wonders if Gambit should have been buried here. Remy was the most Cajun man I ever met. I'm so sorry, Rogue. What the Is that that other world coming in or something? The hell is that? Magnus! Oh, hey Magneto. Looks like the search came to us. Magnus, your path leads to total destruction for both humans and mutants. You must undo the damage you've done. Will humanity undo Genosha? Promise realized. How many more of your bones will it's pave the way to Xavier's future? Your professor's dream is dead. So I offer a new one. A home to replace what they stole from us. A new... Genosha. That is almost a speech from X-Men Days of Future Past on the beach. Stay with him or come with me. Dying world. We are not gods, Magnus. Decide, my X-Men. Couldn't Storm like... Rogue, 
No. Queen In Genosha, I made a choice. Lead our kind to a new age. Rogue is going rogue. Who dies next, Professor? Jean? <laughs> Been there, done that. Who knows where Bishop is? Wow. And hell, I will not see any more mutants die. Roberto. My mom handed me over to the Prime Sentinels, Jubilee. Oh boy. They colored me. My own family. He's a pretty powerful one. Wow. That kid's pretty powerful, too. Hitching a ride to Asteroid M. If I had it my way, I'd be on Isla Mirada with you and Jean instead of space. But she's... Not my mother. It's confusing to me, too, you know. Jean, Madeline. Oh, hey. Almost forgot. Am I going to war or a circus? <laughs> What'd you expect? Black leather? Nod to the movies, I'm sure. An attack against Magneto will only inflame matters further. The world is falling apart because you left your legacy to a lunatic. In under an hour, civilization I like that other Wolverine costume it, better. The, uh, yeah, that much one, like that color combo. Past. Battle time, man. If you don't trust me, trust my X-Men. So they're going back to their other suits. Like I don't help somebody explain to me the difference between the suits. Cause I never really knew that. I just know sometimes Wolverine was one color, sometimes he was another color. They approach. Open the silo. And then obviously the Jean Grey just now switching to the green. Uh, Cyclops looks a little different. Where's Colossus? Classic the move, make them the rest of you fly into each other. To the ground. She's got this. Make them mind your weather, sister. And them weather your mind. Awkward time for a pep talk. And she took down like 50 of them in episode one. The source of the frequency is coming from inside the volcano itself. Bastion's building his own ideal future. Try as you might, X-Men. You cannot stop me and my kind. These are huge. I was just thinking as I got into this fight, Cable obviously has guns, hand, but what is... Say, where does Beast bring to the party? I guess that's it. I know your genes, Gene. He's so creepy. Nice combat animations. Ooh. Stay down. Oof. Should we knock? And so you have chosen your side. So they gotta fight Trask and oh, Magneto. Good. Skipping the blabber. I guess so, because Magneto don't want to. Time out! You're playing to kill. Huh. Magnus, please! Thousands are dead. I'm just thinking about how they, they're all fighting each other. Thousands more died Who's actually Genosha? stronger than someone else? Whose lives matter more? Lover's quarrel. All... Teenagers, am I right? That has made the bitter man before me. Shut up. His helmet. I must hijack his powers to repair Earth. We must trust Gold Team to neutralize Bastion. Oh, that's right. Gold Team. Red Team. Xavier's brats have breached the base. This plays out like the last episode, but it's not. You know, the epic battle. Know your role, mutant. Come on, Beast, you got this. Yeah, so they're looking at each other. One of them two is going to get caught up. Oh. We're about to lose Forge. I'm shocked that such a coward hasn't abandoned Bastion yet. What's that? Look who's here. 
So is he controlling him, or is he just... Sinister's controlling you yeah. just like he controlled your what mother. that's the real one? I guess so. Whoa. Imagine having to fight your kid. Imagine having to fight your parent. Great died for the tenth time. Got him, coach. You've left me no choice, Magnus. <laughs> Magnus is like, damn it. Damn. Matthew, that is a thumbnail. I'm sorry, sir. Gold team still needs more time. Snap. Ooh. Oh, Charles. Now you have finally found the metal to do what is necessary. You are a traitor to your race. Surprise, bub. Been in a lot of wars, bub. The brave always die first. Logan. Uh. Finally, this feud is over. Hmm? No, Magnus, for the love of God, don't do this. See, I've seen him control him before. Huh. I don't really have anything to say about episode nine because I can't wait to get to episode ten. Okay, I do. All right, so I figured, okay, episode nine, it, it, was, it was playing out like the final fight. And I'm, so, I'm, I'm pleased that it's continuing over to episode 10. So it's just one, really three episodes, right? Because I didn't even catch that uh, this was part, that uh, episode eight was part one. So obviously if this was part two. Part three is episode 10. So we're right in the middle of the thick. So with that being said, uh, why didn't why didn't Magneto use his powers to control Wolverine to begin with? I mean, he's done it in the movies. So I just figured that maybe he doesn't have that control of that specific metal. It's non-ferrous, right? Ferrous is magnetic, right? I don't think it's a non-ferrous metal. Uh, but apparently, it is. It is magnetic metal. So let's see what happens. I refuse to believe that Wolverine dies. It is Wolverine. He's like Jean Grey. He just doesn't die. So let's go. Previously, skip recap. I got time for this. Are we gonna see Bishop? Tolerance of Extinction Part Three. You're suicidal, or sentimental, maybe. Would oh, we flashback. Be here helping the survivors if we cared about staying alive, and if indeed mutants exist. They don't. I would have assumed that they would have met much younger in their lives. Make the world better for all people. They're already the best everything. These are tense times. Be mindful not to sound like you actually are a mutant. What if I were? Run and hide. I'm, I'm a, a mutant. mutant. He's like, son of a bitch. You are. Telepathy. Mind reader. Likely can control them too. Bend their will. Have you met others? So they were just friends? I've met several. They didn't know about each other? I just assumed they knew about each other. Help them cherish their gifts. Minds are far harder to bend than metal. Eric? Rogue. Charles, how shockingly far you've fallen. Welcome to your mind, Magnus. This is a violation. You declared war against mankind. Turn my X-Men against each other. And Logan! So his helmet didn't work. He meant Lock. to murder me. Do you yearn for Bastion's bastard cyborgs to resume their pogrom against our species? Restore Earth's power or I will force you to do so. So they're still in space then right now. But how did he control them with the helmet on? Turn this nostalgic parlor trick back to my childhood. So this took place after. 
Look, he had the helmet on at the end of the last episode. You know, Logan's just gonna heal anyway, he always does. Hey! Poetic, isn't it? The inevitability of my vision. A dream is crippled her. as its dreamer. You turn the power Bucky's back on, but it also reactivates the flapping upstream. And see me. Hold on. The few so if Cable took him out with the with the magnetic uh, grenade, look back when um, they were trying to hunt down Bolivar Trask, right? And that was it. Like he completely disabled him. He didn't kill him because he was under monitoring. So by turning the power on, that wouldn't. Like when you when you EMP something, it's done until you reboot it. But just adding power wouldn't have reactivated them in theory, right? I'm getting in the weeds here. Continue. Sorry. Despite this little toy you X-Men would use to abort the bond to my creations, had the good professor taken me in when Mother begged him, I'd be hanging here with you freaks. In the name of peace. He's got Ultron vibes. Fate got my back. He came to your mother, but she was too afraid. I didn't ask for this either. To be born with this. None choose to be born, Bastion. That's why we must never begrudge them being. Did you just try to appeal to my humanity? Operation Zero Tolerance must skip to final phase. Thus, to protect humanity, I must okay, so protect my... humanity from its... So my theory from the other episode could still play out. Use their same hearts against them. Tolerance is extinction. Speaking of pity, the little temporal orphan who could, error couldn't. How many times did you fail to stop me? Make him speak, Sinister. Two hundred. Two hundred times. But how's your mommy, Sebastian? Time always tells. You know this better than most. Jean Grey, Madeline Pryor, just dead. Like you. What is this? You promised this pup is my prize, Bastion. Cable will stop nothing. This is interesting. Doom desert. What's this? Maybe you two should have listened to what Time's got to say about my mom. Oh, Phoenix Rising. Damn, that was easy. Gene just had to die again. Dude, there's so many different mutants, and they're all probably significant in the comic Marvel Universe. It makes for a lot of movie content. Do you think Peacock can make you old again? Sinister. All I do is think. All this mutant DNA you stole to stay duct taped together. I was just gonna ask about Sinister. I forgot about his origins. Yes. Show me. Show me my face. Looks the same to me. Oh. <sighs> The Phoenix Force is gone now. Okay. There's no way this is over. This episode just started. What have you done to me? Oh, Oof, you have sealed humanity's fate. I could have used slaves, camps, or death marches. Damn. 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 Evolving. Wow. It's scary. I will tear that rock from the heavens and hurl it to Earth. So he took that future technology and evolved. Power goes on and these two go lights out. Magnus. They're communicating with each other subconsciously. What is this bar? How did I get here? I can show you. I promise, 
You must trust me. Understand? Only mm. then can I finally. Kind of makes him evil, though, right? Manipulating him like this. Good news is their pulses are steady. We get our injured to Muir Island and then back up Gene and the others. And Scott. Gene, you're okay. You're okay. Where's Nathan? Where's Nathan? Scott, the scrambler worked. Scott, come in. My psychic attack shattered Magnus's psyche. I must restore it before the pain consumes his mind. We won't lose you again. In order to save the world, we must not lose him. Professor. Bastion's wow. inbound to you. He intends to bring asteroid you... M down on Earth. He's more than flesh or metal. Bastion is the future incarnate. I just had a realization. Gonna bring the sucker here. down, he'll blow up the gravity core. So do you guys watch, have you guys ever seen Venture Brothers? It's a great cartoon. It's very mature, adult, but not, you know, sexual wise. But it's it's kind of a rolling parody of a bunch of other cartoons. And I just think I realized one of the main bad guys, henchmen, is a combination of this green seat, green suit, Jean Grey, and the throwback Cyclops. Because if you watch it, you'll see that all his henchmen, they have like the big thing like she does, but then they just look like, look like Cyclops. With a big old X and butterfly wings. But anyway, I'll continue. Gene and Storm couldn't stop him. Hey, we both know how this will go for me. Like, just like my good now? yesterday. So, well, you know. I guess Rogue is back to being a good guy too then. He seems unstoppable. His name was Gambit. Remember it. For all we've seen, there's no way Bro is gonna take this guy out. Get out of here. She is badass though. In theory, she'd have to like rip him apart. She's is she OP on here? Do you guys think? Do you think that Rogue is OP? Based on what we just saw, she's very OP. Oop. Oops. Erdo da Costa, the disowned heir. Okay, here we go. The name Sunspot. Okay. The sky is on fire. Leaders are working fast to clutch. reverse this mutant doomsday. That asteroid is a gun pointed right at our head. This is the only language mutants understand, sir. Mr. President, the only language call. humans understand. All that, for only history could be conned into forgiving us. King T'Chaka is right. We know next to nothing about Asteroid F. This could do more harm than good. Omega level, that's what it is. I kept saying level one. You guys know what I meant. So which ones are Omega level mutants? Waters. Charles, so cold. Magneto, the dark pain Storm, carried inside all gotta be Storm. Years. The tide of our past can drag us under. It also carries us to others who are fighting their own current. Uh, Jean Grey, I'm still thinking about Omega level mutants, sorry. I trusted you. You said you understood. You hurt uh -oh. me. As you did me. The only ones who can break our heart are those kept in it. Do not presume us, family. Let the tide pull you back. It's too cold. Together, we will resurface. The monsters took. Oh, snap. Wow. Yeah, Nightcrawler is definitely not an Omega Mutant. No way. Seems like a class two or class three. I knew he was gonna do that. Battle of the hot breath. Oh wait, one has breath, one has eyes. Nice, Scott. Nice. <laughs> what will you do, child? 
It's like they're all fighting one at a time. Game over, Sleezoid. They gotta team up like they did against some uh, Sentinels in the first episode. You call yourselves a team? Right. A right. family. Behold my family. I was like, did he just land on them? Forces forge tends to Nathan. Why don't they like try to shoot him or do something to him while he's doing that? Truly, he is the future incarnate. Alright, let's go. Let's take it so long. Stand down, team. Wait. We can't what? give up. No, Rogue. We're gonna do what we've been telling humanity to do for years. Stop fighting the future. And embrace it. I like how his hair is like sticking out of the side of his mask or hat. Professor came thingy. to you, Bastion. It's a good look for him. Parents are human too, and refuse to let go even as you're buried by what should have been. I massacre you freaks and you're recruiting me? Humanity is going extinct. Missile alert. Missile alert. Oh boy. No. The Magneto protocols. Whoop. Bastion's like, screw this. Oh yeah, he's actually trying to grab on. Wanna destroy the Earth? Shoot down the asteroid that's hovering over it. Jubilee! Not smart. Got Jubilee. You guys are about to be the biggest hits of the Ice Age. Exactly. Get the fours on the ground. Now, I'll stay back and try blowing this place up with my blasts. Scott. Come on, Scott. Die. Remy died so we could live. All of us. Indeed, the odds remain reckless. Too much talking going on in this show when all hell is breaking loose. It's like three episodes in a row where they're having full-on conversations. What could happen to the stuffing jet? That could fry the jet. Aroro. Aroro. Oh, Aroro. Nathan, aren't you sappy lovebirds supposed to be saving the world? Nathan, I always swore I'd never repeat my father's mistake. What mistake? Not saying goodbye. Uh oh. That sort of ending, huh? I'm afraid so. Those rebel leaders I told you about in the future, rambling about the adventures of the X-Men, getting folks inspired. It pissed me the hell off. I belonged in those stories too, growing up, fighting alongside- You were. Those legends really didn't do my folks justice. The day you were born, your mother told me you had my eyes. They're good eyes. And now they're yours. I love you, son. Let's go. Well, how's Cable gonna get back? Magneto's gotta like pitch in somehow, right? They can't do it without him. World leaders have been hoping for the best. The object is said to be several cubic miles in size. And scientists believe that when it makes impact, it will... Yeah. She can't say it, but I can. Stay with me. The asteroids reach in terminal velocity. They won't have enough power to escape Earth's gravity. The levels, rerouting power to auxiliary systems. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Magnus, listen to me. You were a boy when you lost your family. That is why you can't see their faces. He basically faces saved their ass a couple episodes future. ago. I believe he can do it again. Who I going to be? The X-Men and I may not resemble each other, but we are still family. Any family worth having is worth fighting for. Roger that. Your name is Professor Charles Xavier. And you are Eric Magnus Lenscher, who you were meant to be. Do you remember him, Magnus? Magneto. There we go. Magneto. Need 
The X-Men save the world, save humanity, really, Magneto. He technically saved that ass twice in the last few episodes. No, oh, they're they're safe in Jean Grey's little bubble. Six months after E Day, and rumors oh. still swirl about the fate of the X Men. Six months? Where the hell did they go? News, hey, Kelly it's Colossus. About the Howdy. Must be a it's damn a fool walking in here like we're friends. Oh, we're friends, Daniel. Just not yet. Name's Lucas Bishop. I looked for months. I couldn't find a trace of them or the damn asteroid. The X Men are dead. <laughs> Wonder if they got blasted to where X came from. That weird and planet. More. Something or someone yanked our friends through time. And now we gotta go rescue the X Men. Hmm. Hmm. Kurt? Hey. Egypt. Good lord. 3000 BC. You think really they those Egyptians would have just fell to their knees like oh the gods are here. We are not in Kansas. Jake! Future good lord. That's almost seven thousand years apart. Thirty-nine versus negative three. Are you okay? We're not alone. Right now. Perhaps our recently rescued friend holds the answers to our location. Is that not Craven? The who's the dude? Was that Lobo? My name is no, Jean Grey. This is my husband. Plus, I think you it's may DC. call me Mother Ascani. I sense no need to be afraid. Nathan. Nathan. Come. Do not fear us. What is your name? My name. Is N Sabanur. Wow, look at that. Oh dear. Hmm. Alright, so that was the X-Men 97, episodes 1 through 10. That was obviously episode 9 and 10. And I understand why it's such highly rated. Again, I will admit that it started off kind of slow. Um but the action just got better, better. The stakes got bigger and bigger. And it left off perfectly on a cliffhanger to where you know there's a season two because the current director or former director or the writer got in some hot water and it said uh, was let go before or during the filming or whatever of, uh, of season two. So, um, yeah, it's exciting, guys. I'm, I'm glad that I watched this. Thank you for... Kind of suggesting that I do watch it. And let's see. I don't know where the next adventure is. Again, do I start my Marvel journey all over? But this time doing everything. A lot of movies I haven't seen in literally decades. I am, at the time of this recording, I am 48 years old. Which means I've been around for a while. And a lot of the stuff way before the MCU was out. And I don't remember much of it at all. But you guys hear that car going by? But I can't wait to get in that and anything else. So guys, let me know in the comments what you want me to see next as it relates to this. I'm going to be posting different things to YouTube, of course. But what series should I start next along this lineage? And maybe I should go back and watch the movies again. I haven't really seen them. I haven't seen Dark Phoenix. Because uh, everyone said it sucked, so I never watched it. Anyway, guys, make sure you're subscribed. I appreciate you so much for being here. If you have the time, if you have the desire, if you want to see the full-length reactions, you can always check it out on Patreon. Get real with Jay. And I will see you guys on the next whatever it is we're watching.